The Wheels for Wellbeing um, was originally established around sort of 2007 in, in Croydon by a group of parents and they all had um, young people, children and, and adults they were caring for with learning disabilities, physical disabilities, a range of disabilities who just weren't getting any exercise because we're we were very keen on making much better contact within the medical profession and also understanding the language that appeals to them um, so that GPs would refer people to us. So it was a, a you know, really wonderful kind of learning experience, even from day one. Part of it, as well as putting on this event Winning Wheels and inviting all these GPs, um, they, they also interviewed quite a few people in depth and wrote up a couple of case studies about how people's health had benefited from getting involved in the cycling, but also sort of the social angle, going, doing an, an activity where they're inclus included, all their friends can go together. Our team was working with a local organisation um, that provided refuge for women and children who were escaping from domestic violence situations. Um, and naturally, kind of hand in hand with that, a lot of people were suffering from um, mental health problems like PTSD and depression and anxiety kind of things. We um, came up with a workshop um, so that um, a workshop for the people using the service that were in need of support with their mental health um, to attend. So it was hands on support for them. Our team wrote a um, an article for Safe magazine, which is the only magazine in the UK for domestic abuse, which is fantastic. When we first started, so SHP um, gave us a very broad remit to our project um, and just wanted something that involved health promotion. So we did some background um, sort of uh, questionnaires to find out what would be most helpful to uh, their client groups. They work with a homeless population uh, that has quite a a significant um, proportion of health needs and um, notoriously quite difficult to engage uh, within sort of the classic healthcare settings. So we um, realised that what they maybe would want is to get involved with some exercise programmes. What we did was that we um, thought um, we'd start a, a walking group. So very simple, very straightforward, um, very achievable, something that they, they could then sustain after we'd, um, we'd, we'd set things up. So part of it was to develop a walking group and the other part of it was sort of a health promotion uh, educational side to it for the key workers So and delivering a presentation to the key workers. I think it makes you think about your role in the community and actually using the resources that already exist in the community um, and, and you know tapping into that wealth of knowledge that that maybe we don't have in order to engage more vulnerable members of, of our community. Something that I found was because it wasn't so structured, because it wasn't work and it wasn't a practice placement, um, there was just so much more scope for like the collaboration between the different professionals to be kind of more creative and organic. I think all the different professions, we all have different types of brains and we all think differently. Um, so just kind of becoming more familiar with that because like on practice placements, usually I'll be working alongside nurses or social workers or physios, but you don't necessarily have the opportunity to spend a lot of time with doctors. Um, so that was interesting. That was a change for me because I've never actually had the opportunity to work right alongside doctors before. I can't pinpoint one thing, it's just so rewarding, it's just overall such a good experience, um, personally and professionally, um, interpersonally, just the whole thing, <laughs> yeah really good, um, well and also I guess something I haven't mentioned is um, just so so many good things to put in my CPD. <laughs> That's what we the Team Up project helped convey to sort of the GP surgeries locally and, and also other people because one of them was an occupational therapist and you know it's massively important for us to have really good relationships with that, that whole kind of area of um, you know medical model as they call it. They, they would never have met, certainly never worked really closely together on a project but they had such 
professional respect for each other's areas. So they were really interested, oh, well, is that how you work? Oh, right, this is what I do. So I think that, that they learnt a lot from each other. I learnt a lot from all of them. Fun, um, educational and rewarding. Very rewarding, exciting and fun. Relationships, that's what it's about. Three words. Fun, education, relationships. <laughs>